Check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We are in Guangzhou, China. We're gonna do a Q&A video today and we're hanging out at my favorite little Zhao Ziguan, best dumplings in Guangzhou that I've found. We're gonna enjoy some dumplings and do a Q&A. We're gonna talk about how we afford to travel, tons of your common questions, and it's gonna be really good. Let's try it out. I just posted on YouTube asking you guys for questions for me to create a video for, and I have 646 comments here. Thank you so much for giving me all of these questions that I can answer for you. The top question is, when are you and Ting getting married? 43 upvotes on here. And Ting and I are planning on getting married in probably, what do you think, Ting? I don't know. A we year? Yeah. <laughs> probably about a year. Yeah, we are just loving being together and creating this content together. Blackie Herdies says, how many people travel with you and have you ever been mugged or anything like that? It's just Ting and I when we travel, no one else. Sometimes we meet with locals behind the scenes to make some friends and ask questions about which local foods to try. But 99% of the time, it's Ting and I. We, have, we don't have a, a huge crew. Ting's the one filming. She's got the camera. I carry a backup camera in case I need to shoot anything. But it's just Ting and I, and I think that's why we can create this content because it's really low key. We can just walk in. We ask permission. That's, an, that's another question we get all the time. Even right now, before the Jiaozi, before we started rolling with Jiaozi, we walked up and we said, can we please shoot your, your Jiaozi? We would love to share your Jiaozi with the world. And 99% of people are just happy to be able to do that. And if they say no, it's completely fine. We're, we're not looking to pressure anyone to come on camera. Joseph. Mendoza says, when recording, have you or any of your crew gotten sick or food poisoning? So the crew is just Ting and myself, my fiance Ting <laughs> and myself. Have you ever gotten sick? Once in Delhi. Once in Delhi. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. And myself, I've been sick a few times actually. A couple times in India, a few times in China. It's it happens, but Usually it's just from water. Street food, 99% of the time is fine. Like, look at this, they're boiling the jiaozi in hot, boiling water. It's gonna kill any germs. So my advice to anybody going on a big trip for street food is to just stick to stuff that's really hot and it's busy with a big lineup. If you have anything with ice in it or water from the tap or anything that uses local water, stay away. So Ekanj Priyam says, did you find any difficulties while traveling in a new country? If yes, what were the difficulties? Language, ambience, culture, or budget? Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, Thai bang la. Awesome. More jiao to here. This is the perfect setting to do a Q&A. Look at this, guys. Oh, plump corn and carrot jiao to. So the language is, I, I, I practice a bit before we go. And I think part of the food range and philosophy that I'm trying to share with you guys is that you don't have to study for years or practice for years to get by with local people when you're ordering street food and when you're hanging out. Just do your best. I think the number one thing is to not be afraid to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you learn. And if you see in a lot of my previous videos, they're full of me making language mistakes. And that to me is the best situation to put yourself in. Because when you make mistakes, people correct you. You guys correct me, the vendors correct me, and that's how you learn new language. So just don't be afraid to make a fool of yourself, make mistakes, and practice. And that way you can learn a new language. So that's the fun of traveling, going in somewhere with an open mind, and doing your best, to interact and have fun. And sometimes it will be awkward, really. If you go up to people and try to chat with them with only a few phrases of their language, it might be a little difficult. And you can probably see that in some of the videos. I'm walking up to people, trying to speak, it might be a little awkward. But that really is what I'm trying to show you guys is that you just have to not be afraid and have fun. And that can really elevate the whole travel experience. So another question was, where do you see yourself three years from now? Myself and Ting, we want to keep traveling. That was always my dream, to keep traveling and make an adventure out of life. So that's what we're going to keep doing. Keep traveling, keep creating content for you, 
It's a dream. I can't believe we're able to do this. And it's all because of you guys watching these videos. Mar Rodriguez says, when do you rest? The traveling, shooting, and film editing must be draining. And the truth is that it is a lot of work to create these, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. It is so fun. The people we get to meet everywhere we go are so friendly and the food is delicious. That being said, every piece of content we put on YouTube takes days to create. A full food tour where we have six foods, it actually sometimes takes more than one day because we can't fit it all in and it takes more than one day to edit. So every time you see a 20, 25 minute piece of content, for us it's been one or two days of shooting and then one or two days of editing where I'm in the room clicking and cutting and, and you know, putting B-roll. We have two cameras, so I always get the close-ups. Ting always gets the wider shots. And I, I cut it all together and, and make a story for you guys. Try to show you how friendly the world is and how amazing the food is. To be honest, it, it can get draining. Sometimes I'm exhausted. And for me, the number one, it's kind of funny, but my number one goal for 2018 is to stay hungry. So to do that, I have to exercise and be healthy. Because if I'm not hungry, I can't do this, right? So exercise is really important. And that's another question we always get is how do you not stay fat? It's because when we're shooting and I eat six foods or seven foods, a lot of the time it's over two days and we're walking a lot. And then we go back, I go back to the computer and I unload the footage and then I spend another two days cutting it. So for those two days that I cut it, I'm not eating as much and I'm usually trying to get some form of exercise like push-ups, you know, in the room to keep myself energetic and pumped. Next question, Ida Azak says, is there something that you won't eat? It seems that you're willing to try anything. And I think for the most part, I am willing to try anything unless it's endangered or a household pet. But there have been a few times when I've said no, where the food just crossed the line. When we were in Mexico last month, we had that bug salad and that was completely fine. But after, he, after the bug salad with the mezcal and the lime and the salt, that was okay. It was, it was a little bit crazy. But after we finished that, the owner brought out these live cockroaches, Madagascar ants. And, and to me, that, that really crossed the line. I, I, I couldn't have done that. And then there was another thing in Jakarta. We were exploring downtown Jakarta and Ting was rolling. She was, she was filming behind me and we were walking up to this snake stall. They had snake blood and the snake heart. And it was dark and, and really deep, you know, in the alleyway. And um, there was this cage of snakes and he pulled out a snake. And I don't have any footage of this because I said stop rolling, but he pulled out a snake and he was about to kill it. And it was just disgusting, like a cage full of snakes. It didn't seem very clean and, and he was gonna drain the blood and let me eat the heart as well. And I, that was, that was the, the, the second time, apart from the cockroach, where I said no. And maybe if I give myself a little time to warm up, I might do it. But I think, I think that's something that I don't necessarily need to do. Le beau tube says, would it be possible for you to tone down the wow and the o's? And I think this really shows that it's really hard to sometimes make everybody happy because that's just what comes out when I'm pumped, you know? And, and we've got other comments here that say, when you say, ooh, it's my favorite part of the video. So for me, I think the most important thing is to just do what's natural, to try to enjoy the food, to stay really pumped and hungry. And if I say, wow, look at this, ooh, look at that, or mm, you know, do that face, it's just because it's coming out of me naturally. And I'm just trying to have fun, guys. That's all it is. I'm just trying to have fun and create some fun content for you. Yush Chareja says, what's your comfort food? And can we have a bit of Ting's reaction as well in your videos? And I think, to be honest, my comfort food is, is jiaozi and noodles. Beautiful jiaozi, we just ate three plates and dandan noodles in Sichuan. And the second part, Ting, I think Ting is a little shy to be in the videos, but she's always there smiling behind the scenes. So, what do you think, Ting? Do you wanna be behind the scenes still? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
She's a little shy. <laughs> but that's fine. You guys know she's behind the scenes, happy filming, and that's part of the fun, right? We've also got a few questions about how much income we're earning, how much money we're spending. And I think the most important thing I can tell you guys is that right now we are able to support ourselves traveling on a budget style. It's, it's pretty much the same style that it's always been. Before I met Ting, I was always staying in backpacker dorms, you know, a room with eight beds and, and creating content and then coming back. And I would actually edit the videos like sitting on the bed or laying on the bed, you know, because there's no desk. And now as the channel has grown, Ting and I are just so fortunate to have you guys watching and also getting the merch, the Thai Haula merch. It really helps us because now we can afford a room with a desk where I can edit the videos and that is like a dream for me. Next question, Steffi Chowie says, how much has your life changed ever since you started going on this food journey. And she says, I love your vids. Thank you, Steffi. This is actually what's completely blown my mind ever since we started, is how fast our lives have changed. Our lives have changed really fast. When I moved to China in 2014, I was a student, I was broke, I was studying, and I had a dream to be able to support myself through creating food and travel content on the internet. And I just, I wanted to do that forever. To be honest, I could have done that for my whole life, being in a situation where I have to pay to do it. So teaching English privately and paying for these trips, going on trips once or twice a year and creating content. That would have been perfectly fine with me. But over the last few years, it's, the channel has just skyrocketed and now we're able to support ourselves and travel and create the content. We still keep it on pretty, pretty budget because we like to travel that way. But we can, we, right now, it's just crazy. We have the freedom to go where we want, when we want, and that is what I always dreamed of. My dream was always to travel forever and create content forever and make, a, make an adventure out of my life. But now it's actually kind of changed, just slightly, because when I started, it was all about me being able to, to do what I want. But now I really want to, to inspire you guys to show you how friendly the world is and to show you that you can do whatever you put your mind to. Every little decision we've made behind the scenes in order to get where we are is just, it's just, it's just blew me away. I dropped out of university in China. I attended culinary school. I dropped out of culinary school. I went full time on YouTube. I met Ting in Turkey in 2015, in the summer of 2015. She came on full time shortly after to help make videos and it's just gone up and up and and the whole thing has just really taken me by surprise because all of you guys sometimes it's really hard for me to wrap my head around how many of you guys are watching and it's it, it's really hard to grasp so sometimes I just have to remind myself to create content that I would like to create because as this channel is starting to get bigger it's getting harder and harder for me to please everybody. And I know the worst thing I could do is to try to please everybody. Some people want to see a certain type of content, some people want to see another type of content. I think right now, the, the biggest thing is to do and create content that I love to create. So, that's another question we're getting is, where are you guys gonna go? And what content are you gonna create? We're definitely, since we're based in China, Ting and I rent an apartment in Chengdu, in Sichuan, we keep it, empty it's it's cheap but we've honestly been there like I don't know one or two months out of the last year it's ready for us to go there so we're gonna keep renting it our base is in China and keep traveling around Asia and the world and to us we right now that the, the way we do it is just go when we feel like it and we usually don't plan more than one or two weeks ahead because we like to have an open schedule and we like to to go when, when the feeling is right. And to me, that's really important to do what you love and when you feel good. So thank you so much for being part of the food range and community. And I would love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below as well. And you can check out our merch. It definitely helps us cr create more of these videos for you, create content for you, and keep making these, these fun travel videos.